they said, you know, you've done this you know, four times now you've already had surgery. You're a pro, you know how to take care of yourself. As soon as we get your recovery, you can go home. And I was like, yes, I do not want to stay in the hospital. My surgery was the day after Thanksgiving and I, I wanted to be with my family for the holiday. So I was really disappointed when I woke up from surgery to a drain and a bandage, a bandage that went from one hip to the other hip. My doctor had came in to talk to me and said, you know, I can't really tell you what organs didn't have adhesions on them. So, you know, I'm thinking, what am I going to do? Like, I'm hoping that the surgery is going to work. But if I've had three correctional surgeries already to get rid of adhesions, and this surgery was pretty much no different from the other ones, how was the outcome going to be different? It's the same solution I've had, you know, already. So why in, on the on the world would, would the outcome be any different? But I remain positive. Recovery is about being positive and focusing on the future and what kind of plans you have and, you know, give yourself motivation to recover and to bounce back is, is really important. So I was like, you know what, this is going to be my last surgery, I'm never going to have to do this again, and life is going to be great from now on. Until four months after the surgery, and that was November of 2012. Um, now it is August of 2000, 2013, and I'm still dealing with adhesions. Uh, four months after the surgery, I started having issues with pain again. At first it wasn't anything, brush it off, oh it's nothing, maybe I have a cyst, you know, I'm getting older, you know, I'm 27 now, um, you know, no big deal. Go back to my doctor, we do tests, and he says, well, you know, most likely you have adhesions. It doesn't take long for them to grow back, and without a proper barrier, you know, to protect your organs, there's no way to keep them from growing back. He's like, and I'm not going to cut you open again. So the best I can do for you is to send you to a gynecological oncologist. Because at this point, the only kind of doctor that would see me is a cancer doctor. <sighs> Which was extremely hard. You know, my doctor is defeated. So how am I supposed to feel about it? So now... You know, because I'm 27, I have a six-year-old and a three-year-old, and I have a lot to do to take care of them, take care of my husband, and, you know, still dealing with adhesions, and they're painful. So, I go and I see the oncologist, and, you know, he promises that he wants to help me, you know, he doesn't want to do surgery, it's the last thing that he wants to do, because he knows that, in turn, more surgery is going to continuously make this worse. Every single surgery uh, ended up being, you know, more detrimental to my health and just making the adhesions continuously grow. The one thing he wanted me to do uh, was to see a urologist. I'm thinking, I'm not really sure what a urologist can do for me at this point, but I'm going to do it anyway. I go in, we go through the spiel, I give her my history. Come to find out, I have IC, which is interstitial cystitis also known as painful bladder syndrome. So from my surgeries and from the adhesions, my bladder is in a constant state of being swollen and your bladder is a muscle. So just like any other overworked muscle, it will like contract and have muscle spasms, which is also very painful, especially with the adhesions because then it pulls on all of my other organs at the same time. So change my diet, can't have anything with a lot of acid in it, so like no coffee, no chocolate, no fruits and vegetables, well certain vegetables I can have, you know, to try and remedy the issue. Okay, so it's, you know, it's getting better, okay, this is something new we're trying, the pain is still there, but it's not as bad as it could be. So on to the next doctor is a physical therapist, uh, he has dealt with one other person like me while he was doing his internship and what he was taught with patients like me 
is to do, it looks like deep tissue massage. Seems like it'd be really enjoyable. It's not. Uh, they're pretty much trying to separate your organs from the outside to try and break the adhesions. So I'm like, it sounds like it's gonna hurt, but if it's gonna help me, I am more than willing to try it. I've been doing that for about three months now. I see some differences, not a whole lot, but I feel like it, it is helping, and as long as I continue to go, that in the long run it will help me. Um, but right now, his only real hope that I have in, in finding a way to get rid of these adhesions without being cut open again. You know, so this is, this is my life, this is what I'm doing right now. I'm doing my best to take care of my kids and be a good wife and a good daughter and a good sister. And, you know, I'm, I'm very fortunate that my family, they're very accommodating to the issues that I have and they do their best to be understanding. Even my kids try, you know. And mom is not feeling good. You know, don't, you know, mommy, don't, you don't have to get up right now. You know, we'll play on the couch with you and we'll go and jump on mommy. You're going to hurt her boo boo. You know, and it, it breaks my heart that that's the kind of life that they have to adjust to because of my issues. But, you know, it, it is what it is and, and I do the best that I can with it. You know, and it breaks my heart, not just for me, you know, the issues I have to go through, but. For other people, I know that there's lots of other people out there that have this. And, you know, I didn't even have a name for what I have until uh, November of last year. I was told, oh, it's scar tissue, it's scar tissue, or they would do as adhesions. And now I know that it's actually called ARD, Adhesion Related Disorder. So, if you took the time to watch the whole video, obviously you have some type of emotional investment into adhesions you know of them maybe your family member has has them uh, and I can definitely sympathize you know with that my biggest goal from this video is to get out more awareness about it there's not a lot of technologies for it you know ways of fixing it you know there are some that I have heard of um, in Germany, they have a thing called spray shield, where they can spray your organs with this gel um, to protect them after surgery so that you don't get um, adhesions, but we don't have that here in America, um, so I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do, you know, as far as surgery again, not that I really want to do it again. Um, but yeah, I just, I really want to get the awareness out. I want to help other people that have this. And uh, I want to see something change as far as help for people with ARD. It's painful. And people will think that you're crazy. People will think that you're a drug seeker. Because you're just dying for any kind of relief from the pain. It's like you're imprisoned in your own body. And people will stare at you, doctors and nurses, and just think, this person's crazy. They don't need, you know, a surgeon. They need a psychiatrist. <laughs> it's, you know, I laugh about it, but it's not, it's not funny. I know that it's not, because I've had many times where I've cried about how I'm treated because of this issue that you can't diagnose from the outside. And the only way they can diagnose it is from surgery. I was just lucky enough that I had a doctor who was willing to, you know, take a look in there to see what was going on. So, if you've taken the time to listen to everything again, I'm sorry I try to stay on topic. But thank you for listening to the video. I hope to help, you know, somebody, you know, with some of this information. I'm more than happy to answer as many questions as I can. Um, if I get any questions in my feed I will you know make another video and I will address all of them um, not very modest after dealing with all this for so long and having to share everything with doctors and nurses I may as well share them with somebody that it might actually really help so thank you again and uh, you know keep on smiling all right bye